In the last presentation, I have introduced you to the concept of identity operators and I have also explained the functionality of the ID function. Now in this presentation, we will continue our discussion on identity operators. We will understand identity operators in details. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is is operator. The second topic is is not operator and the third topic is difference between equality operator and is operator. We will understand these topics one by one. Let's start from the first topic that is is operator. So what is the functionality of is operator? Is operator returns true when both the operands have the same ID. If it is the case that the operands have the same ID, then is operator returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. For example, let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type this command x equal to 10. Now we need to hit enter and type y equal to 10. Again, we need to hit enter and this time we need to type x is y. With is operator, we can ask this question. Is it the case that the ID of the object pointed by x is same as the ID of the object pointed by y? If it is the case, then we will get true as a result. Otherwise, we will get false. We need to compare the IDs of the objects pointed by x and y. x is pointing to this object 10 and y is also pointing to this object 10. We have learned in the last lecture that if the objects are same, then they will get same memory locations and therefore they will have the same ID. These two objects are same, hence these two objects will get the same memory location and hence they will get the same IDs as well. So with this we know that x is y is true, hence if we hit enter, we will get true as a result. I hope the idea of is operator is completely clear. Now, as we have understood the concept of is operator, let's move on to the next topic, which is is not operator. So, what is the functionality of is not operator? Is not operator returns true when both the operands does not have the same ID. As the name itself suggests, is not operator works opposite to what is operator does. Is operator returns true when the operands have the same ID. Is not operator returns true when the operands does not have the same ID. Otherwise, it returns false. Again, let's open our command prompt and this time we need to type x equal to Neso Academy. Let's hit enter and type y equal to xyz Academy. Again, we need to hit enter and this time we need to type x is not y. This time we need to ask this question. Is it the case that the ID of the object pointed by x is not same as the ID of the object pointed by y? If it is the case, then we will get true as a result. The object pointed by x is Neso Academy and the object pointed by y is XYZ Academy. These two objects are different and hence Python allocates different memory locations to these two objects and therefore the IDs of these two objects will be different. So it is true that X is not Y or in other words the ID of the object pointed by X is not same as the ID of the object pointed by Y. So if we hit enter, we will get true as a result because these two objects are different and their IDs are also different. I hope the concept of is not operator is also clear. This means we have understood is operator and is not operator in details. Now let's move on to the next topic that is difference between equality and is operator. So what is the difference between these two operators? Equality operator double equal is used to compare the values. On the other hand, identity operator is is used to compare the IDs. 
precisely double equal operator or equality operator returns true when the values are same both the operands of the equality operator are compared their ids are not compared the operands themselves are compared on the other hand is operator returns true when the operands have the same id so is operator in nutshell is used to compare the ids of the operands not the operands themselves let's understand the difference between these two operators better with the help of an example let's open our command prompt once again and this time we need to type list1 equal to 1 2 3 so we now have a list with three items 1 2 and 3 this is an object and list1 is a variable pointing to this object now let's hit enter and type list2 equal to 1 2 3 <laughs> these two lists are same now let's hit enter and type list1 equal to list2 with the equality operator we can ask this question is it the case that the object pointed by list1 is same as the object pointed by list2 is it the case that these two objects are equal i am not saying ids i am saying objects is it the case that these two objects are same yes these two objects are same hence if we hit enter we will get true as a result but what happens if we type list1 is list2 is it the case that these two objects have same ids as well this is what we are asking here if we hit enter we will get false as a result now you might be wondering why we are getting false here we must get true because these two objects are same and hence their ids must also be same this is what we have learned so far if the objects are same then their ids must also be same but why are we getting false here this is the point where we need to understand the difference between equality and is operator is operator is returning false here while if we compare list1 and list2 with equality operator we will get true as a result this means that equality operator is not same as identity operator there must be some difference the ids of these two objects are not same now why is that the case let's try to understand this properly the objects like strings integers floats these objects get same memory location whenever python sees two or more same objects like strings floats integers then python allocates same memory location to these objects there is a reason behind this we cannot change a string we cannot make any change to a string we cannot change an integer like 10 20 30 we cannot make any changes to these objects but what about a list we can modify a list let's say we want to change this value to we can make it 4 and the list becomes 1 4 3 instead of 1 2 3 we can modify a list but we cannot modify a string or an integer or a float so these objects are not changeable while a list is changeable we can modify a list so if we can modify a list and if python allocates same memory locations to two or more same lists then changing one list will affect the others as well which we may not want like in this case we may want to treat these two lists differently we might want to perform different operations to these lists then it is not an ideal situation that changing one list should affect the other this is the reason why python allocates different memory locations to same lists a list is changeable we can make changes to a list but we cannot make change to a string or an integer they remain the same throughout the program so we cannot modify them hence python allocates same memory locations to the objects like strings integers floats but python never allocates same memory location to lists i hope the idea is completely clear we can verify this also 
that the IDs of these two lists are different. We can pass these two lists to ID function. Let's pass list1 to ID function. If we pass list1 to ID function and if we hit enter, we will get a number, which in my case is this 139261308752. In your case, maybe you will get a different number. Now, if we pass list2 to the ID function and again if we hit enter, we will get a different number. In my case, I am getting 139261306868608. This number is different from this number. It is a clear indication that the IDs of these two objects are different. So, the conclusion is that Python allocates same memory location to objects which are not changeable. While on the other hand, Python allocates different memory locations to the objects which are changeable, even though the objects are same. Like in this case, these two lists are same, but Python allocates different memory locations to these lists. I hope the difference is clear. So, with this, we are done with this topic also, and this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.